Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn about how to set up the QEMU KVM Virtual Machine Manager on Arch-based Distro. So if you are using the Arch-based Distro, that is gonna be the really easy for setting up KVM Virtual Machines. So let's begin with the installation. Let me just open up the terminal and we have to install some KVM packages. So let me just make a little bit bigger. Sudo pacman-s bot manager and we have to install the bot viewer as well and we have to install the QEMU and we have to install some utility like bridge utils in order to manage the network devices and we have to install uh, live guest FS in order to modify and access the KVM virtual disk images so we are done and let's proceed with the installation stripe your pseudo password and so wait for the installation to be begin when the installation is completed now we have to add the normal user to the live body groups so that is for accessing the binaries like bot manager or the bot viewer or the QEMU from the normal accounts so let's just open the configuration file that is in the etc directory slash live bot slash live bot d dot conf so under that on the configuration file just go and search for the unix socket groups so here we just got it and this might be commented on your system so just uncomment this and we have to go for the unix socket read and write permission as well so they, uh, this also might be commented on your system just uncomment this and we have to set up the read write and executable permission for the user and group so that will be the 0770 as on the numeric notation so just save it and exit from here and now let's go and use the zpasswd or you can also use the user mode in order to add your normal user to the leap party group sudo zpasswd followed by the hyphen a followed by the user that you want to add to the group so that is the leap bot and let's just press the enter and we have successfully added the user to the leap bot group now we can simply go and enable the leap party service on the startup and we have to start the service as well so for that we can simply do the sudo system ctl enable leap part d dot service after this we have to restart the service so sudo system ctl start leap part d dot service so i did the typos mistake leap part d dot service so now you can simply do the system ctl status leap part d dot service in order to check out the the status of the service so so as you can see that the service is running on the background so now we can simply exit the terminal and we can just open the virtual machine manager so you can see out that the machine is connected so if this is not connected or if the live body service is not working or is not connected and is not enabled on the system startup then this is not going to work remember that you must have to enable the service on the startup so doing so you don't need to manually start the service whenever you use the virtual machine manager that was a quite easy restart of the service at the startup so now let's just begin with creating the virtual machines on the kvm virtual machine so for that we have to just simply press on the add button or you can also just go on to the file menu and you can just add the new virtual machine so the small window menu will pop up then we can easily go on to the local installation media that is iso or cd rom so let's, let's click on the forward so let me just show you the another one so here you can see that if you want to select the architecture then you can also select the architecture so by default there will be the system architecture that is my x86 and 64 so i am just going with it and now i'll just go and select the iso image so iso image might be in the downloads directory so just got it so if you don't got this option then you can just simply go and let me just show you then you can just simply go on press on browse and you can just go and press on this browse local button and you will get option to browse your local file system so like this you can just choose the volume and you can just go and click on the forward if this does not detect your 
operating system you just have to uncheck this and you can just manually select the operating system as well so let's just click on the forward and just allocate the memory so by default let me just allocate the one gigs only for the arch linux now you have to specify the disk storage so you can specify the any disk storage like 100 gigs or one terabyte as well so i am just going with the 20 gigs So now let's specify the operating system. Operating system will be the Arch Linux 2022. So here on the network selection menu, you can also select the network. You have the option for the Bridge device or the uh, Mac tab devices as well. So you can just simply place the Bridge device and you can also replicate with your current hardware that is the WN0 or Ethernet or ETH0 also. So I'm just going with the NAT. So let's just press on the finish. So let me just go with the. So I just did wrong with the name. So we have to specify the name without the space character. So Arch Linux 2022. So we are done. And let's just press on the finish. And it's saying that virtual network is not active. Would you like to start the network now? So we are just proceeding with S. And let's wait. It's creating the machine and boom so machine has been started now you can simply just click and put onto the machine so let me just switch this to the second work space and let's press the and just going on to the view menu you can just show and hide the tool toolbar as well on the toolbar you will see the buttons for the different tags and you can also just do and just go and click on the full screen so like this you can just work on the kvm virtual machine so it was a really easy tutorial on how to create the virtual machine on the kvm virtual machine manager so if you have any queries and if you face any kind of error while creating the machine then you can directly comment out on the comment section so let me just exit from here so this much for today